April 15th is right around the corner, and you know what that means, income tax deadline. However, here's some good news. AARP Tax Aid is the nation's largest free, volunteer-run tax assistance and preparation service available to taxpayers with low to moderate incomes. The program pays special attention to those 60 and older and is set up and ready to help in the Scambia and Santa Rosa counties. To tell us more about AARP Tax Aid is District Coordinator Lou Palizzo. Lou, thanks for being here. Thank you. Well, this is a great thing. I've heard lots about it over the years and I want to make sure our viewers know about it. Before we get into the details, though, give us a brief overview of what the AARP tax program is, if you don't mind. Okay, as you mentioned, it is the largest volunteer-run tax preparation service that we have, and it's also a charitable, nonprofit program that is administered by the AARP Foundation in conjunction with the IRS. Well, you mentioned that this is volunteer run, and that's great. Uh, I know at Council on Aging, we really depend on volunteers as well. But I know when people are talking, thinking about you know income tax and things that they want to make sure they're done right. Um, I don't want them to be f afraid that you know because of the volunteer situation. Tell us about the training uh, that these volunteers have and the credibility they have right. and bring to the table. There is intense training. It starts actually. It starts their self study that starts in November, the latter part of November when we receive our textbooks, the student guide textbooks. There's classroom training that we have a whole week in January, Monday through Friday, a full day, eight to five. And uh, we're there we study tax law and TaxWise, which is our software program. And the IRS also has um, a web-based um, Hmm. Let's see, some type of like a study guide. It's a study, so right? It's a study guide, and and they also have testing there also. Now I know probably it's a little bit late to volunteer for this year, but if somebody was maybe interested for next year, um, is that who you open to more volunteers? Volunteer is ongoing. We have volunteers for all positions, not even just preparing uh, taxes. We need someone as greeters. We need quality reviewers. We need leaders. <laughs> We need anybody who know any, knows anything about computers, and it doesn't matter if you're a homemaker, to educators, to professionals, or whoever. So there's lots of ways for people there's to get involved behind the scenes correct, as well. Correct. Well, let's talk about the person who's looking for assistance uh, preparing their taxes. Who is this program available to? Actually, it's geared to the low and moderate income, and then they special attention to the elderly but we don't refuse anyone coming mm -hmm. in. How do you determine low to moderate income? Are there uh, income criteria or is that just no, a, we, a, a loosely term? It's just loosely term. We, we don't even check the, the criteria of income. Okay. Well, what documents do they need to bring? I know they need to be prepared so that your people can help them. So what do they need to bring with them? First of all, last year's return. It's a good guide to what they will need this coming year. All of your W-2s, 1099s, your brokerage statements, interest statements, dividend statements, and those are the ones that we usually can prepare. Okay, and what type of identification would they need to bring? Your social security card, uh, a driver's ID also, but social security is one that's the best one. Okay. And then again, that's last year's return has it on there. Okay, great. Well, um, provided that all the documents are in order mm -hmm. and everybody's ready to go, is this something that's completed in one visit? Oh, yes. There are some that may take longer than others, but on average, it's about 30 minutes. Well, that's great. Uh, another, are there any fees for this? No, free of charge. We just get a thank you, which is great. <laughs> well, you mentioned thank you. What kind of uh, feedback do you really get from the people that you've helped? Oh, they they just so pleased and they say that they don't know what they would do without this service because of the economy as it is now and they have to, the charges are about $150 to a paid preparer and they and they just pleased and well, that's great. Well, we're going to be showing um, on the screen that some of the locations, I know there are very many locations throughout Escambia and Santa Rosa, but why don't you mention some of those while we're pulling those up? Okay, all of the libraries in uh, Santa Rosa County, which is Gulf Breeze, Navarre, um, Avalon, 
Boulevard, Milton Library, then Downtown Library, Southwest Library, then the senior centers Bayview and Felix Mega, and they have the um, Vickery Community Center also. So there's a whole lot of places uh, to, to go, and I know their times vary, uh, but is it usually Monday through Friday? It's not every one. Sometimes it's two days a week. The only five-day a week is, is um, Bayview, which is 12 to 4. Our hours range from 9 to 1 in summer in the afternoon, 12 to 4. Great, and we'll be showing uh, information, phone, phone number for people to find out exactly dates right. and times. Um, well, what about making a reservation? Is it necessary to call and make an appointment in advance? There's really no one to call to make a reservation. You just, just first come, first serve. Okay. Um, so they would just need to find out exactly what time in the mm -hmm. location closest to them, gather all their documents, and um, come down. Huh? And we're there, ready, waiting for them. You know, I know um, it's very hard to say exactly how long it's going to take because everyone is different, but do you have any on average how long someone might anticipate uh, waiting? It depends if you get there real early, like a 9 to 1, if they get there at 9 o'clock and they're number 6 signing in, then it, they may have to wait a couple of hours. Right, so it's just first it, come, first serve. It varies, serve. right like it is with everything else. Mm -hmm. Okay, do you turn anybody away if it's one o'clock and it's time to go? No. <laughs> well, that's, that, that, that's, no, we don't. That's great that, that y'all do that. Um, how many volunteers actually are putting this together for you as the district coordinator? Here in our district, which is Escambia and Santa Rosa counties, we have, um, we need 60 to fill in the 10 sites that we have. And it's an ongoing recruitment to keep our 60. <laughs> Great. Well, that's a great way for somebody to show appreciation for getting right. their taxes done as well. So if our viewers want more information, remind us of that 800 phone number. It's 888-AARP now, and the number is the 227-7669. Great. Lots of information. Y'all providing a great service, and, and uh, we really appreciate you being here. Thank you. Thank you.